The next one is descriptive images. So let's jump on over to descriptive images and talk about this, because this is something I see all the time, my friend. There's all these pages and they have these like generic looking images like this. So there's a guy conducting a business meeting of business people in a room. What have we learned here? Not much, but a lot of times people sell a piece of software and this is the main image on the page. What is the thought that I'm supposed to get from this image? It just looks nice and doesn't do anything is the problem. So your images can often tell the whole story without a lot of copy needed if you just use descriptive images. So a couple quick points. Don't post generic pictures that convey zero info like this one. Showcase different uses of a product and you can do that really well with images actually better than you can with copy. And then you want to explain a whole product in images if possible. So even if they don't read the copy, just like when you browse Amazon, a lot of times you just look at the images, you don't really read the copy. And then also, how about this is a little mind hack that I've told people. Treat your images like a presentation. We'll go over some examples here. Also, here's the best one. Make images so good that people want to screenshot them. That's how good your images should be, hopefully. So this is a huge mistake on most sites, lots of wasted space, which is generic crummy images that have no thought into them. So let's get started. Don't do this. Okay. Don't put generic guy talking to generic people. Instead, what if we have descriptive images like this? So here is a spirit shoe company and they circled with handwriting, genuine leather, vegetable based dyes, four pastel colors on one shoe and recovered rubbered soles. So without seeing a lot of copy, I just, I basically understand a lot of aspects about this shoe just by this image. So imagine you just see this image alone can almost make a sale. Or how about this? Super strong adhesive, no drilling. So this is for a shower caddy. And what they did was they, this is not real. They just Photoshopped 40 pounds onto the shower caddy. So what it's telling me is that this can hold a lot of weight. You instantly know that this product is very strong and will stick to tile. Let's go for another image. Ooh, look at this one. So descriptive image. Now we're selling a burger over here. This is an old Burger King Whopper ad. So all they need to do is show big old juicy burger. This ad transmits a lot of information. What the burger looks like. It makes me hungry. It says it's a meal in itself, only 39 cents, actual size. Try one with a Coke. It has all the stuff that conveys to me that I should buy this burger all in one image. Here's another one. I thought this was like some sort of like screenshotable thing. Not the best example over here, but I wrote your product and service and all the different feeder funnels that go into a product or service. So this is a diagram that someone would scroll by and be like, Ooh, I saved a screenshot of that. The advertising is so good that it's actually content on its own. I write emails for very large newsletters. And if you can get people to screenshot your stuff all the time, they'll keep opening your emails forever because it's such valuable information. So one more descriptive images can be like a before and after I'm a big fan of before and afters because it showcases a transformation for people. For example, this is an ad for hymns and it shows before hymns and after hymns. So that's a great example without a lot of copy. You could just showcase what the product does. How cool is that?